start the Indian Ocean webinar um, and I'm going to just introduce everybody. I'm going to let them introduce themselves as per normal. So Laura, you're on the screen at the moment. Tell us who you are and where you're from and then remind us about your prize. Hi guys, my name's Laura. I'm working for um, the Mauritian Tourism Promotion Authority. Um, today we have a prize of a bottle of Mauritian rum. Oh, which is very, very nice. I love my Mauritian rum. Perfect, thank you. Welcome, Laura. Um, Olivia. Also a massive fan of rum. Um, I'm Olivia, I'm from Attitude Hotels um, and we're in a, a Mauritian hotel chain based in Mauritius. Super, what's your prize? We are offering tonight uh, two free nights on all-inclusive at our newest hotel, Sunrise Attitude. Brilliant, and that's what you're going to be telling all, us all about today as well. I am indeed. Super duper. And last but not least, we've got Jill in the house. Hello. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Jill, and I'm from um, JA Resorts and Hotels. Um, in keeping with today's webinar, we're focusing on our Maldives property, JA Manafaru. Um, so our prize today will be two nights stay, also all inclusive, in one of our beautiful beach villas. Oh, excellent. Can we start out, you know, off webinar, how I can win that? <clears throat> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, amazing Talk prize. To you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, it's great. It's um, it's brilliant, brilliant prizes on offer today. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight into Mauritius um, that are going to do the presentation. So Laura... If you want to take take the screen and share it share with us yep here we go okay so hi again everyone my name's laura i work for the russian tourism promotion authority and um, today i'll just be giving you a quick whistle stop tour of mauritius as a destination um, Mauritius is currently in its um, first of its two-step reopening stage, where Mauritius will be fully reopened to all double vaccinated guests um, without the need to quarantine from October 1st. So the first question everyone asks is, where is Mauritius? So Mauritius is a subtropical island in the Indian Ocean. It's just, um, just over 1,130 kilometres east of Madagascar and approximately 2,000 kilometres off the southeastern coast of Africa. Um, Mauritius has a total land area of 1,872 square kilometres and it's actually a mountainous island which might come as a surprise to some of you. Um, the mountainous island is among the one of the unique selling points of the island particularly when it's compared to other Indian Ocean destinations just as it offers much more than just its beautiful paradise beaches. Um, so Mauritius also has 330 kilometres of stunning coastline, which is protected by a halo of coral reefs, which not only make beautiful ocean views, but also making it a safe place to be. So Mauritius at a glance, here are just a few fun facts for you. Um, the capital city of Mauritius is Port Louis, and this is pronounced more like Port Louis, which is really the working city of Mauritius, and it has a great market, which we recommend visiting. Um, the capital, oh no, sorry, um, the official language is English, although French and Creole is also widely spoken. Um, the time difference is four hours ahead of Greenwich Mean Time, so that means um, Mauritius is either three or four hours ahead of the UK, depending on what time zone the UK is in. Um, which for a long haul destination, you won't suffer extreme jet lag for that you might otherwise find. Um, Mauritius is also a year round destination um, with Mauritian summertime run, running from November to um, April and winter running from May to October. Um, the Mauritian winter time is beautifully warm and generally has an easterly wind on the east coast, which makes it slightly colder than other areas. But in the summer, you do get a lovely breeze when the weather is in its high 20s. Um, so in Mauritius, the temperatures remain consistent throughout the year as well. So we range from low 20s in the winter and high 20s in the summer. So it's always t-shirt weather. Um, the currency in Mauritius is the um, Russian rupee, which at the moment has an exchange rate of 58 rupees for every one pound. Um, Mauritius doesn't have any visa requirements for UK passport holders unless the customer is looking to stay for more than three months. Um, if this is the case, you can look at our website, mauritius.now, for more information about this. Um, so there are also no vaccinations required um, to visit Mauritius unless the customer is arriving from a country prone to yellow fever. Um, the COVID-19 vaccine, vaccine isn't mandatory either, but we would suggest um, travellers having both vaccines just to avoid the Mauritian protocols which are currently in place. Um, I won't run, th run through these today, but they are regularly updated on our website if you do want to have a look at what they are. Um, Mauritius is also accepting all vaccines, so travellers don't need to worry about that. 
So moving on now, Mauritius is a real melting pot of cultures. Um, the dominant religion on the island is Hinduism, but there's such a web of different cultures and religions on the island, which were formed way back when um, colonizers suddenly brought um, slaves from Africa and neighbors from India to Mauritius. But today we can all enjoy Mauritius, Mauritius's shared heritage. Um, some people have asked before if living um, on such a small island with different religions causes tension, but everyone on the island is lives harmoniously, even in such close, close proximity. Um, just an example of this is when Hindus on the island, they pilgrim to the lake in the centre, um, so everyone will come out and offer them refreshments, no matter of their own beliefs. Just touching on cuisine, um, I mentioned before Mauritius is a mountainous area and due to its volcanic terrain, the soil is extremely fertile. So Mauritians really benefit from fresh flavours and ingredients, including fresh fruit, coconuts and even locally sourced seafood. And the colourful range of religions have also brought great culinary influences to Mauritius, whether that be from France, India, China or Africa. So in the slideshow now you can see some amazing Mauritius dishes. Um, the unofficial dish of Mauritius is dal puri, which is a sort of um, flatbread with both savoury and sweet fillings. You've also got the fish vendée, which is a, a Mauritian adaption of vintaloo curry, and a regali, which is a popular tomato-based curry, which is another must-try. Um, saying this, Mauritians are also so welcome and they do their best to accommodate all cultures in resorts and restaurants as tourism is so important to the island. Um, on the island as well, there's also a large selection of Chinese restaurants and even a Chinatown. Um, China actually sends the largest volume of tourists to Mauritius per year, which makes dim sum a really popular meal on the island. Um, Mauritius is also home to world-renowned chefs, which many of our luxury resorts are very proud of. Um, there are many fine dining eateries for guests to indulge in across the island um, in so many beautiful romantic settings. But that's not all we do have. A, um, we do have cookery workshops for guests to get involved in, which are independently run or can be done as a laid on activity by selected resorts. Um, just to mention as well, the island produces a lot of sugar cane, a sugar cane sorry, as rum is a byproduct of the plant and there is no better place to familiarise yourself with the un unforgettable flavour of the sheep dis distillery called Rumere Rume de Charamel. Um, for something a little less alcoholic though, it's possible to pit, uh, visit a tea plantation called Bois Cherie, um, which is in the south of the island. And you have captivating views all across the riverine and the plantation where you can have hour long tours. So from here, I'll just talk you through a few different areas of the island and we'll start with the north. As you can see in this picture, Mauritius is home to the indigenous um, giant lily pads, which can sp span up to three metres in diameter. And you can find these in the Pamplemousse Botanical Gardens, which are definitely worth a visit. So in the north, you have Port Louis, which is more of a working city. As I mentioned, this is the capital city. Um, the city does also offer duty-free shopping, the Marc de Champs race course and a central market, which is in the picture you can see above. Um, in the north, there are also offshore islands and smaller islands to explore with the postcard famous Red Roof Chapel there on the right hand side. Um, from there, you can see fishermen go out for their daily catch and it's a great opportunity to, to do some diving. Moving on to the east of the island. Um, when you see beautiful photos of Paradise Beaches, you'll be seeing pictures of the east coast of Mauritius. Um, the beaches have beautifully calm waters, east trade winds, which keep it cool in the height of summer, but can make it a little bit colder in the winter months. Um, the island is actually home to 11 18 hole golf courses, some of which are included in the resorts. And one of the best courses to play on is Litosa Rook, where you will need to take a boat to get there. Um, the east is also great for kayaking, boat trips, and you can visit the popular destination, which in the picture in the very top. Um, there it's Il Asaf, if I've said that correctly, um, which you'll need a, a boat to get to as well, but it's got its own 18 hole, hole golf course and tourist, it's tourist idea of paradise. You've got sandy beaches, turquoise waters, it's absolutely stunning. So moving on to the south, so the south is the most preserved part of the island and it stands out from other regions with its incredible cliffs. Um, the south and the southeast offer magnificent views over the mountains and sugarcane fields as far as I can see. Um, in the picture above, you can see that water sports is paramount. Visitors can take advantage of this by trying out a variety of different sports and activities all across the island. As I mentioned, the south is some of the very best scenery and views, but also many of the largest resorts, which appeal to those want, that want to stay in their resort for the holiday. Um, the south is home to Le Mourne, which is in the bottom right-hand side. Um, and is popular for its 
beautiful white sandy beaches, um, surfing and kite, kite surfing spots as well. It's also a place steeped in history and is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's popular with family picnics and the beach is also very prized by surfers. You can also find um, Sharamel, which is a natural phenomenon of seven different coloured earths with um, a history of 600 million years. So that's the picture in the top right hand corner. Um, so it's really popular. It's a really popular attraction for visitors. And from here, you can go to the rum distillery and the tea plantation that I mentioned earlier. Finally, just moving on to the West of Mauritius. Um, the West is an amazing place to catch some of the best sunsets on the island, as you can see above. Um, so the West in the winter months, um, you can see some slightly warmer temperatures as it's more sheltered, but this also makes the perfect place for water sports as there's less reef and therefore bigger waves. Um, the Flick and Flat Beach is also very popular for water sports, but, um, but also for its many food outlets and its nightlife. Um, the beach is among Mauritian families, um, popular among Mauritian families, sorry, um, with weekly picnics and being easy to reach from the urban centre of the islands. The tourists love it as well. Um, in the west, you'll also find Tamarind Coast, which you can get up close with and swim with dolphins, as well as this, the two adventure parks called Gacella and Gros Kalu, which are also perfect for families and those who want adventure. So in here, you can go on a safari, you can get close to animals, you can go quad biking, go wakeboarding, take a zip line over the mountains. The world's your oyster. So although there's so much more to do on the island to see on Mauritius than I've just touched on, I hope that just gives you just a quick good idea that there's so much more to do on the island in Mauritius than just being its typical beach holiday. Um, I'd love to share a video with you now, but I don't think we've got time. So um, all our videos are on our Mauritius Now website if you do want to have a look. Moving on just quickly to weddings and honeymoons. Um, Mauritius is award-winning honeymoon and wedding destination. Um, you can get you can be legally married anywhere on the island or at sea um, um, just three days prior to the ceremony, um, which is another unique selling point because this isn't the case for all destinations. Um, just to point out as well, um, until October, Mauritius won't be holding weddings because of our phase one reopening stage. Guests aren't allowed to leave their resort for 14 days. Just finally, um, Mauritius is ideal for families. Without a de deliberating jet lag that I mentioned earlier, there are no nasties, meaning that you won't find any poisonous animals or deadly mosquitoes. There's safe swimming, meaning the water is very shallow and it's easier to keep an eye on the children. Um, we also have so many fun activities that families can take part in, including the adventure walk sports that I mentioned earlier. You can swim with dolphins, you can do so much more. And our resorts are also, um, they also have award winning facilities with um, kids clubs from zero to 18 years old. So there's something for everyone. Just lastly, how do we get to Mauritius? Um, stopovers have been really popular in the past. Popular routes include a stopover in Australia, Dubai, South Africa, Kenya, but obviously in a post-COVID world, quarantine in these countries have made doing these a little bit more difficult for the customer. Um, in terms of direct flights, we have a well-established direct flight path from the UK direct into Mauritius. A direct flight takes around um, 12 hours, um, but from mid-August, British Airways are reintroducing their direct flights once a week, moving three times a week from October. And Air Mauritius, our national air carrier, is resuming its direct flights once a week from October. Thank you. I know that was a really quick whistle stop tour of Mauritius, but if you do have any questions or need any support from us at all, my email is in this um, slide along with my colleagues, Miriam and Reese. Um, do please feel free to get in touch and um, we'd love to hear from you. Super, thank you very much, Laura. Um, yeah, everybody needs to come to Mauritius because you all know that I live in Mauritius and um, yeah, the lifestyle over here is superb and definitely if you've not been, come come and see it because it really is a beautiful, beautiful island with lots to see and do. So many, many thanks for that great presentation, Laura. Um, we're now going to move across to Olivia, who's going to tell us about her new hotel. So Olivia, over to you. Thank you very much. There we go. So I'm hoping you can all see my screen. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about our newest hotel called Sunrise Attitude, um, which is based on the east coast um, of Mauritius. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Attitude as a brand, we actually have nine hotels solely in Mauritius. So as you can see from the diagram on the screen, these are mainly in the north, the northeast, uh, the northwest, sorry, and the east of the island. So Sunrise Attitude's down here, it's a four star um, adult only hotel. Um, a huge selling point for this hotel is actually um, the second um, hotel in Mauritius to have swim up rooms um, on the island. So there's only two of us. So that's a huge selling point. So if you've got any honeymooners traveling um, or couples, this is a fantastic um, resort for 
them. So just to give you a few USPs to the hotel. Um, so it is on one of the most, most beautiful beaches in Mauritius. I'm sure Sarah will back me up here on Belmar Beach. Um, the hotel, it's not a, um, a beachfront hotel. There is a small um, road between the resort and the, and the beach, um, but I wouldn't use it as a barrier to sell. As you can see from the photo here, we do have our own um, beach area, our own sun lounges, our own boathouse, um, and we also do table service on the beach. So if your clients would like any snacks or drinks, they can um, order them to their, to their deck chair there, which is a huge selling point. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, we've got 28 swim-up rooms um, and eight private villas. I'll go into more detail these in a moment, but again, fantastic for honeymooners. Uh, we've got four restaurants included as part of the dine around in the hotel, but don't forget your clients can actually dine at any Attitude Hotel. And um, we have selected restaurants included as part of the all inclusive. So if your clients were going up to the north um, to visit the Botanical Gardens, for example, and they wanted to have um, dinner at Zilwa, all they need to do is book um, in advance with their reception 24 hours uh, prior to arrival. Um, transfers aren't included, but if you're making your own way around the island or if you get um, your own taxi driver or something, that they can take you up there. Um, we've relaunched in all of our hotels our new spa called Spa Pos um, in Creole. That actually means spa break and Sunrise Attitude actually has our largest spa. Um, for those of you who know the Attitude brand will know that family members means that our staff, all of our staff members are called family members and we have a really, um, really positive team um, with a great relationship there. We also have um, a catamaran um, for boat trips that you can go to from the hotel. So just to give you a bit more um, information on the rooms that we were talking about a moment ago. Um, so we've got 61 couple rooms. These are our leading rooms for um, two adults. We have 56 um, partial sea view rooms and then our two signature room types. So here we have got 28 swim up rooms, obviously on the ground floor because they've got access to the pool from your terrace. Um, and as you can see from the photo here, we also have um, suspended beds, which is quite a cool um, concept to have as well. And then the, um, the villas. So we have eight of these villas. They're 100 square metres um, and they're completely enclosed, so very, very private. Um, and as you can see here, you get your own private pool um, with, with um, the villas, which is, but if you've got honeymooners going and they maybe haven't got the price range to spend their entire duration um, in the villas, although these are actually very, very cost effective, um, you can always look into upgrading them for the second half of their stay or their last few nights. It's just a really special way to end your trip in your own private villa um, with the chairs that are overlooking the pool with a nice rum cocktail. So as mentioned earlier, we have four restaurants at Sunrise Attitude. Um, so our main restaurant, The Social House, um, is uh, tapas food. So this is available um, for breakfast and dinner um, with a variety of international um, and local dishes. We then have the market. Um, I do apologise that this is a CGI image. Um, our new images I'll be taking at the moment. This hotel is opening from the 1st of October. And we are actually doing a soft launch in September. So we are, we'll be ready um, to hit the ground running when we open phase two of Mauritius, when um, the island's fully open. So if you've got any clients who are, um, are looking to uh, travel to Mauritius for uh, the beginning of phase two, we have some fantastic launching offers for this hotel. So this is the market and um, this is available for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, what we also have at the market is we do have um, a uh, DJ that plays in an, of an evening um, from six o'clock. So it's quite a lively place, great place to social socialise and mix um, with friends or other guests. We then have Cotnu. So we have two signature restaurants that we have at all of our eight Attitude Hotels. First one is called Cotnu, and this means come to my house. So it's our traditional Mauritian cuisine. Um, it's only open for dinner um, and it's a prom reservation, but it is included as part of your all inclusive. Um, and Cotnu is a huge variety of different Mauritian dishes, um, curries um, and rotis, absolutely stunning. Um, and you can have it as spicy or in my case, not spicy as you like. Um, because it's Mauritian curries are a bit too hot for me. Um, and then we have the tabagé. So tabagé is our traditional Mauritian street food. Um, so again, anything that you'd be able to get out and about in the markets of Mauritius, we bring to the resort for you. 
Um, so this is available for lunch. Um, and then also from 3.30 to 5, we have tea time. So this is when we offer um, teas, coffee, sweet pastries. Um, a personal favourite of mine is the Nutella pancakes that are available. Um, so this is available to go get a snack um, in, in the late afternoon. Um, four bars um, are available um, at the hotel. Um, so with the provide a variety of different um, cocktails, locally bottled drinks, the house beers and wines, um, and of course soft drinks. And then as mentioned, we do the um, beach service from 10.30 till 12 and then one till three. So if you're enjoying the beautiful beach of Belmar and you don't wanna leave um, like myself to come back and get a drink, um, we will, uh, Sunny, one of our uh, family members will come and serve you on the beach. Um, something else I wanted to focus on with you guys today is our authentic experiences, just to go through with you um, some of the experiences that are available in resort to make us a little bit different. So the first one that we offer is authentic dinner. So this is actually when you can go to one of our family members' houses for dinner. Um, so this is £13 and it's um, the family member gets 100% of the money. It's a non-money making activity for Attitude, but it's just a really nice way uh, to get to know a bit more about the island and their culture and their history. Um, and you have up to 12 people from the resort going together um, and you taste the local rum. I've had my hands painted with henna. I've danced with the locals until the um, late, late hours. So it's a really nice experience. Um, we then also have authentic music. So this we have live entertainment in all of our hotels every evening. So it could be a Sega show or a, um, a local musician coming in to perform for you. Um, authentic bazaar, uh, bazaar means market. So in all of our hotels, we have a market which is all sustainable goods. So you could buy um, handbags made of old ship sails. They make great wash bags um, or our locally um, produced jams and rums. Um, so you can take a bit of Mauritius away with you. We also have the authentic fooding. Um, so this is actually our complimentary cooking class, which is available in all of our hotels, where you will um, be with a chef who will teach you how to make um, a traditional Mauritian curry. Again, you can make it as spicy or non-spicy as you like. Um, and then what we will do as well, we'll give you the little recipe card to bring away with you. So when you return from your adventures in Mauritius, you can make it for your friends and family. And then finally, uh, we have Authentic Discovery, which is actually my favourite um, authentic experience. So this is an app that we have created for Apple and Android phones. Um, it's free of charge to download and also it's free of charge to use when you're out and about. So you don't actually have to have your data turned on when you're using the app. And this app has got 13 maps um, of places you can go for walks or bike rides around Mauritius. Um, my favourite one is Port Louis, um, where you can go and do a food tour. So actually you have your uh, navigation on and it, it directs you through the markets and it actually um, sends a little pinging message when you're at a, a food stand that we recommend that you can try the rotis or the dal puri. Um, and it will actually say like turn left here and then it will give you the name of the shop. Um, and you can go and experience Mauritius for yourself. So we really want you to really feel the Mauritian culture, go out and about and explore. Um, but if not, whilst in resort, we've got a huge variety of restaurants and activities um, for you guys. So yeah, like I say, we're offering two free nights here um, on All Inclusive at Sunrise Attitude. So if you do have any questions, um, please do let me know. Or if you'd like any fact sheets on the other um, seven hotels that we've got, Attitude branded hotels we've got in Mauritius. Super, thank you, Olivia. Um, was this a different hotel before? It was, yes. So this used to be Emerald Attitude. Ah, I um, thought so, as soon as you said crossing the road. Here, yeah. 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 yeah, so yeah. we have actually added an extra 92 rooms as well and then completely renovated Emerald, so it's all brand new and sparkly. Wow, it looks amazing. Um, thank you, thank you very much. And one lucky winner is gonna be experiencing this herself. So thank you, thanks, Olivia. You're welcome. And Jill. Um, okay, so we're now moving to another part of the Indian Ocean. We're going across to the Maldives. Um, Jill, over to you. You on mute? Sorry, doesn't help, does it? Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, so um, J.A. Manafari then, it's been described as a soulful sanctuary, lush private island resort at the most northern tip of the Maldives. 
So it is very much set apart. Um, we don't get to see um, flights going overhead or speedboats flying past or anything. It is very much um, a, a very tranquil location in the north. So the island is made up of both beach villas and water villas, and every single room type has its own private pool. The um, resort itself, where it's situated in the north, is basically where the Arabian Sea meets the Indian Ocean. And being um, a, an Arab Arabian um, company, um, JA Resorts and Hotels, so it's very much in keeping with both the Indian Ocean and the Arabian influences that we've brought with us from Dubai. So why J.A. Manafaru? Maldives is obviously a destination that's very heavily populated with beautiful resorts, each one offering its own unique um, offering. So first of all, we're a private island, so we don't share the resort with any other properties. Um, in the Maldives, diving is a huge, um, a huge thing, and a lot of people go to the destination for the amazing dive sites that you have. Around the island and in close proximity, we have 33 diving sites. Each and every villa that we have on the island, be it a beach villa or a water villa, is incredibly spacious and has their own private area, be it a decking area in one of the water villas or your own private garden made entirely of sand in one of the beach villas. We were the first resort in the Maldives to introduce a wine cellar. So the wine cellar um, is an amazing experience, um, which I'll go into later when we cover um, the restaurant offerings that we have in the resort. We've got the largest spa sanctuary within the, within the island, and it's located right in the centre of the island, offering Ayurveda treatments, all from the Elemis brand. Uh, we offer a kids go free policy, so for the younger guests, that's obviously a huge advantage, and accommodation that does allow us to accommodate them safely on an island destination. Uh, we took the decision to be entirely all-inclusive just about two years ago, um, and the culinary journey that we offer includes six dining outlets. Um, again, with uninterrupted um, location that we have, we've got a stunning house reef, and whether you're staying in a beach villa or a water villa, you've got direct access to the ocean and, it, and you can enjoy um, the house reef itself. We also offer an extensive range of water sports, um, and again, they can be taken directly from the beach. In terms of getting to the island, so um, before um, COVID arrived, we did actually have two scheduled seaplanes that took you direct from um, Malé Airport right directly to JA Manafaru. With the logistics around this, we do have the alternative um, of going via a domestic flight. Um, and this goes directly from Malé into Hanumadu and takes around 55 minutes. And then it's a 45 minute speedboat journey. Obviously um, in the pre-COVID time, the seaplane was quite a unique experience and obviously was the preference of most of our guests. So we are really pleased that come October and we're just waiting the official announcement to come on this, but there is actually a new airport opening in the north of the destination on the island of Horofushi. And this will then allow a 55 minute journey and just five to 10 minutes by speedboat to get to Jerry Manafaru. So we're super excited about this and, and we hope that our guests will also find this, um, you know, a, a positive step forward in getting to arrive on our little paradise island. On arrival at the airport, all of the guests are met by our airport team who will assist with the check-in. Um, and then look after the guests right through the experience through the, through the airport, um, and obviously the same on the return. And on arrival at the island, you're met by your villa host, who is then with you throughout your stay. So this could either be, um, you know, escorting you on an excursion. Um, they do get the guests around the island on the club cars. So this could also mean taking you to or from the restaurant or the spa. Um, and they also assist with any reservations or anything the guests require during their stay. So let's dive in. Uh, J.M. Manafaro, obviously, as I mentioned, has the 33 dive sites very close to the island. We've got three fully trained instructors 
and we offer anything from an introductory dive right through to the diving experiences for the more experienced divers. We've got multilingual staff on the island, so everything is done very, very safely and obviously with the guest interests all at heart all the way through. So this map actually shows the dive sites themselves. You can see all 33 listed. Thankfully, I won't take you through each and every one, um, but we do have where you can see these two islands um, where my little arrow is here. So this is the location of the two castaway islands that we have as part of the experience and something I'll come on to later through the presentation. So in terms of accommodation, we've got 84 villas um, and residences on the island and each and every one has got its own private pool. So we've got beach fillers. Um, our water villas are split into two categories, sunrise and sunset. Um, and then the deluxe beach villas, which are perfect for families. For those people traveling in larger groups, we've got our residence accommodation, which then offers a lot more luxury for the guest. So just quickly going through the different accommodation. This is the, the lead in beach villa. Um, you can see from the picture on the top there that you, you've got the garden area, the gazebo, which is the area that we do use for in villa dining, and you've got direct access to the beach and the ocean beyond. Then you can see the interior of the villa, so it's all open plan. And then to the right side there, you can see the, um, the pool, which is the private pool to that villa. All very, very private. Um, and you've got your own, obviously your own sun lounges, both around the pool and on the beach itself. We can actually accommodate one child in these rooms, but just to be mindful of the, the open stairwell there, which is why we would normally recommend the deluxe beach villas for people traveling with families. So sunrise and sunset water villas, primarily uh, the same in terms of their layout. It's open plan accommodation inside the villa itself, beautifully big bathrooms. Um, you've got your private plunge pool there, which looks directly out to the ocean. Um, and obviously you've got that infinity concept from your pool direct into the Indian Ocean. From the sun deck there, you've got direct access to the ocean, so you can go snorkeling from there as well. Okay, so the deluxe beach villa then is um, sort of split into three sections. So you've got a huge bathroom area, the main bedroom, and then a sliding door that leads you through into the living room. And it's the living room area where we would accommodate up to two children. So hence the reason we've recommended these for families. Again, you've got your own private plunge pool, very, very private in the, um, in the garden area there that you can see. And then onto the residences. So this is the two bedroom ocean residence, beautiful big swimming pool um, looking out towards the ocean there. Sorry, missed the picture there. So um, it's actually got two bedrooms, each one with en suite. Um, the picture at the bottom there, you can see the living room area. It's got oversized decking area, a beautiful um, pool. And the island that you can see there is one of our castaway islands which you can see directly from, from the terrace. Then we have the two bedroom beach residence. So it's got a full swimming pool there with a gazebo. You've got living room space in the center of the villa, both above and below. And then either side, you've got the two um, bedroom areas and then each one um, with its own ensuite bathroom. The master bedroom also has a private plunge pool as well. And being where they are on the beach, you've got direct access through a little gate onto the beach itself. So these can accommodate uh, four adults and two children. So as you can see, perfect for um, a family or maybe two couples traveling together. Um, you do also have the ice bar bathtubs with the jacuzzi in those rooms. So everything is really sort of elevated in terms of both the experience and the product um, quality as well. Then finally, we have the three bedroom island residence, again, with its own private pool. Um, this particular um, accommodation has been fully renovated um, during the, the closure period and is looking absolutely stunning. 
Um, the addition to this is obviously the third bedroom, but also you have um, a separate spa pavilion with couples treatment beds. So guests staying in this accommodation could also have their um, treatments within the room itself. Then we go to our spa, so it's got 10 treatment rooms. From the moment of arrival in the spa, you get that whole experience of complete tranquility. It's located right in the centre of the island, so you can take a short walk to get there, or you can call your villa host and they can transport you by club car and actually take you directly to the spa from there. Our all-inclusive journey um, begins with a, a bottle of champagne on arrival. We include the breakfast at Kakuni, which is our main buffet restaurant. Uh, lunch and dinner are both a la carte experiences. Um, we serve daily afternoon tea at White Orchid Lounge um, and also the sundowners at White Orchid Lounge as well. Um, we do also include um, the in villa uh, mini bar as part of the all-inclusive offering and also any non-motorised water sports are also included as part of the package. So our, our restaurants then, so Kakuni, this is the buffet restaurant, um, so buffet breakfast and themed buffets in the evening and then at lunchtime we have a small a la carte menu as well. Ocean Grill, which is in a, a beachside setting, uh, perfect for that uh, barefoot dining experience. So it's primarily seafood from the grill, but you can also choose a steak um, and have, um, you know, a, a beautiful dinner there in the most amazing setting. So as well as being surrounded by the Indian Ocean and every single villa type having its own private pool, on the island itself, we also have two main swimming pools. So the location of Andiamo Bistro, which is Mediterranean themed, um, is this beautiful lagoon pool. It's a huge pool area. It's very, very tranquil and very lush as well. And also has the sunken um, beds in the pool in one area with the jacuzzi jet. So very, very relaxing. White Orchid Lounge, this is a new concept for us. It used to be more of a formal dining restaurant. So the idea here now, we use it as the, the lounge to serve the afternoon tea. It's got both inside and outside dining areas. Uh, it's light snacks, it's canapes, it's street food. Um, very, very different experience and proving incredibly popular as well with our clients. So this is the newest one, um, the newest addition to the offering. Um, and as I say, proving very, very popular because it's very, very casual um, and obviously informal um, approach to dining. So then we come to the second swimming pool on the island. So this is Infinity, uh, which I think the name pretty much speaks for itself. Uh, very, very casual, more of a bar than a restaurant, but we do serve light snacks and picnic hampers for guests who are um, sitting around the pool area here. So very, very casual option. And then we have the cellar. So um, our food and beverage team are incredibly proud of the cellar because of the range of wines that we have. It was the first um, cellar in the Maldives. So again, um, another thing that they're very proud of. So this can be a very casual experience for our guests to do some wine tasting and cheese and wine pairing, or you can do something a little bit more formal with the, um, the wine pairing and the that means that you then get to spend time with the sommelier and the executive chef through the day and work through the menu so that you actually feel part of the entire experience. And then obviously come evening, you actually go and um, experience it firsthand. In terms of activities, there's plenty to do. We've obviously covered the Paddy Dive Centre. Um, snorkeling, mask and fins are also included. So there's no, no charge for rental of those. Um, Castaway experience is a very popular um, option on one of our two castaway islands. So this can be a simple um, sundowner, it can be a picnic, a barbecue, or maybe a more formal wedding ceremony that can be held in the privacy of the castaway island. Uh, we also do dolphin and tur turtle watching excursions. Um, the water sports, as I mentioned, anything non-motorised is included as part of the package, but we have motorised options as well. Um, we have a fitness centre, which is in a great location, the most amazing sunset, um, and the yoga pavilion is also located in the same area. 
Um, one thing that's becoming very popular is our eco golf driving range. So clients can actually um, play a little bit of golf by hitting an eco-friendly golf ball, which is made of fish food, um, and then watch as all the seafood, all the um, fish and sea life come around um, to see what's going on. So it, it plays a, a double part, basically, to see the fish um, and also to play a bit of golf at the same time. We've also got tennis and badminton courts on the island and fairly new is our Maldives Cultural Centre. So this is something from guest feedback. They wanted to know a little bit more about the culture of the Maldives, stepping away from just beach and, and food. Um, equally, Seatopia is our marine and environmental um, lounge. Um, we have a marine biologist based on the island who is obviously in charge of this area, which is very, very interesting, a little bit like an interactive museum. And that's becoming very popular with our guests as well. Additionally, we've got nature trails and walking trails around the island, and every single villa is allocated to bikes. So you can get around the island on bikes as well if you want to get around a little bit quicker. Um, weddings and honeymoons are very popular. Um, unlike um, Mauritius, you, you can't actually have a legal wedding in the Maldives, but Equally, um, many of our guests have a civil ceremony back home in the UK or elsewhere that they're coming from um, and then come to the island and have, you know, the idyllic ceremony on the beach. Um, and as I mentioned before, the Castaway Islands are a very popular choice to have these types of, of ceremonies taking place. So just a few pictures of um, the resort to finish with. Um, thank you again for you all joining us and giving up your time. It is very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. Um, wow, that three bedroom villa, um, it's like a big mansion. It looks <laughs> it amazing. It is, absolutely. Take your whole family or all your friends, it's amazing. Absolutely. And um, yeah, I know it's, it's brilliant. And the, the, the golf as well with the, with the fish food, that is such a cool yeah. thing to do. So yeah, it looks like the thought yeah. of everything. So brilliant presentation. Yeah. Thank you. We Thank have got you. a couple of questions um, that have popped up for you while we've uh, while you've been talking oh, um, right, okay. you may have covered a couple of these things but just um a couple of them were put in quite early um Jacqueline's okay. asked is there a children's club at the J.A. Manaf Manafaru yeah so we do have a children's club physically there and it does have its own small pool um all of the the setups so the tables the chairs the bathrooms are all um kiddie sized um, sadly, with COVID, we've had to close the normal operation. So the facility is still there. Um, anybody arriving with children can use the facility, but um, equally the parents have to be there to supervise. So you can use the facilities with parent supervision. We will um, keep monitoring this and following the Maldives um, government requirements on this. And we're hoping that sometime next year we'll be able to fully open it again, but it's unlikely to happen in 2021 that we can operate the kids club as normal. So watch this space. We'll make sure that we make a big noise when we open it again. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Sarah, um, she's asked, um, is the cellar included in the all inclusive or is it extra? Okay, so the, the seller experience is extra. Um, we don't necessarily produce a price um, list for this because it's very much down to what the guest wants to do. Um, it tends to be a taster menu with seven different courses, um, but some guests feel that that's quite a lot of food to take in. So they would maybe go for smaller options. So it does come as a supplement, but you know it would only ever be agreed with the guests at the time that the price point suited what they were looking for. And what an experience. And even you mentioned Absolutely. that wine tasting as well, which yeah. is superb. Fabulous. Yeah, Normally definitely. do that in Europe or in France or somewhere, not, not in the middle of the yeah, world. Right. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> um, okay, Claire's asked a question um, and she's said that it's already been answered. Um, but just, just to recover, how many children can sleep in a villa at J.A. Manafaru? And um, they're obviously under the 11.9 age, which I saw, um, so yeah. under 12. Um, yes, correct. So how, how many children can we sleep? I suppose it would depend if we had the two bedroom, three bedroom or just the normal room. 
yeah so um in the in the residences it's pretty much the so the two bedroom ocean residence has got two bedrooms so there's no room in there for an extra bed but if you needed to put an extra person in the lounge you could um if you're staying in the lead in beach villa it's two adults and one child as you mentioned the age of a child is up to 11.9 in the water villas it's two adults and two children. However, we do obviously recognize that some parents are not comfortable to have young children in water villas. So we, we would recommend, obviously, if you're traveling with a family that you do book the, the, the deluxe beach villa. Yeah. Um, and that way you've got the two adults and two children. The children are in the sofa bed in the living room area. Um, and then the parents, once they've closed over that sliding door to the bedroom, the parents have still then got the space both inside and outside the villa to enjoy once the children have gone to sleep. Super. Sounds perfect. Um, and lastly for you, um, which bed banks um, would you say were the best to book via? <laughs> I or suppose any? it depends on each each. Um, company's preferences we do have tour operators that have the product um in their um you know in their offering as well i don't know if, if are we allowed to mention names on here yeah, I don't know. yeah okay so um we work very closely with if only and gold medal um in terms of the um you know the tour operators also carried tours um and beach coma are also um you know carrying the product as well um, okay. for the more luxury and clients um, and then bed banks any of the main ones booking.com hotel beds etc um, you know you'll find it there if you've got any queries or problems at all please do reach out to me and obviously as Sarah said she'll be sharing our contact details anyway so if you've got any issues around booking things then you know please do give me a shout Super, perfect. Um, and we've got a question now for Olivia. I know, Olivia, you've already been behind the scenes and answered um, a couple of the questions that have come in. Um, but again, the same question. Um, Jacqueline's asked, which is the best bed bank to book attitude hotels via? So pretty much the same as what Jill was saying. We work with um, a lot of the UK tour operators um, who do uh, trade booking, so gold medal, if only. Um, and then again, the main bed bank suppliers. Is, is pr we're, pretty, we're pretty out there with a lot of them. So okay. but we encourage to book with uh, your UK tour operator. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, and I know that Laura had a question that um, somebody had asked about um, how many people were living in Mauritius and what is the main source of revenue, which um, Laura's already answered um, behind the scenes. But just in general, um, could you just let us know what you would what you would say to, to the rest of us? Um, but you're muted still, so you'll have to unmute. That's it. <laughs> um, no, it was just that the main sources of revenue are um, tourism, um, financial services and agriculture. Cool. Perfect. That's and it's 1.2 million. That yes, live that was the population. Yeah. yeah. Super. Um, I don't think we've got any more questions. Let me just check. Oh, um, Carla has asked Olivia, are the villas at Sunrise Attitude all inclusive? They are indeed, yeah. Super. They look amazing as well. They look really, yeah. really good yeah fantastic for honeymooners nice little yeah. special occasion yeah nice pool area as well and the privacy no it's brilliant yeah, exactly okay so that's all the questions answered that's all the presentations complete i will email all of you with a copy of the recording in case you want to share it with your colleagues or in case you've missed um one of the earlier presentations um okay so now this leads me on to the 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 prizes um so every single person is entered into the prize draw that has been on this webinar today um, so what we do is, um, for those of you that do come onto our webinars, you'll know that we do like a little bit of fun towards the end where we see if you've all been listening. So each of the suppliers will ask you a question. Um, and for the first correct answer, so it really is fastest finger first, um, you get 10 additional entries into the spin to win. So it's worthwhile um, answering correctly, uh, but you do have to be quick because we normally get a lot of a lot of the answers. So Olivia, you're on the screen at the moment, just remind us your prize and then go for it um, with your question. But just before you do, um, go to chat everybody and make sure that you've got it down, you've changed your drop down box and, and, you, and everybody can see the answer. So Olivia, over to you. Um, so we're offering two uh, free nights on all inclusive at Sunrise Attitude. And the question is, what is our highest room type at Sunrise? This is an easy one. 
Oh, at least you're all getting it right. <laughs> <laughs> so Gretchen, you are the first person. Um, of course, it's the villa. Is that okay? Does should it need to be a certain name of a villa no, so or it's villa just villas? Person? It's just the villas, yeah. <laughs> Super. Thank you very much. Um, Livy and Jill. Okay, so the prize for today was two nights all inclusive in a beach villa at Jay Manafaru. And the question is, what is the name of our lounge where we serve afternoon tea? Oh, that's a tricky one. Oh, or not. Oh, well done. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Karen has put white, which is obviously, I think she's pressed enter too quickly, but we can't accept white or can we accept white? Oh, pressure. <laughs> yes, let's be <laughs> kind. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine it's fine it's fine okay yeah. so as long as Karen. when she talks to me again she gives me the full name i don't mind <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the full answer is white orchid um correct. but you're very very quick today you were second uh with the correct answer and lots of correct answers uh, quite a few people have put white ah, just orchid okay. so yeah okay, okay. there we okay. go so yeah, perfect. Thank you very much, Jill. And Laura? Yes, so our prize is a bottle of Mauritius rum. Um, and our question is, Charamel is a natural phenomenon in the south of the, um, the island, but how many different colours has it got? Of course. One answer before you finish the question. That was impressive. I know, that was <laughs> yeah. easy. Samarel and the seven coloured air. So um, we've we've got the first one is seven because she just asked for a number. Is that okay? Yeah, that that's fine. Yeah. Okay, so Carol was first before you'd even finished your first one. <laughs> well word, done, Carol. Carol. <laughs> you mentioned Scamarell and that was it. I rum, think she should get two seven. bottles of rum for that. That was very <laughs> impressive. <laughs> exactly. So the association with Shamarel is you do the rum, you do the rummery, you do the, you know, the whole shebang the waterfalls all down in the south in one go. So it is associated with the rum, the big giant tortoises, and of course, the number seven. So massive, massive thank you. So you guys have all been entered 10 times into the spin to win. Everybody else wants a massive thank you to Jill, Olivia and Laura for spending the time um, going through and presenting for us today. It's been brilliant um, to hear your presentation. So thank you very, very much. And a big thank you to the trade. And just don't forget when you send in your bookings, who's been supporting you. So these guys are here, they're supporting you, they're training you, they want to work with you, they're trade friendly. So just remember that when you're sliding your bookings their way. So a massive thank you, everybody. Yes. Keep logging your bookings and we will see you all very, very soon. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Bye. 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 Bye.